Previously, we have already learned that vertical curves are provided to change the slope and road which can and cannot be symmetrical. And these types of curves are parabolic not circular like horizontal curves. If you have not watched the previous video, I recommend to watch that first is an introduction to vertical curves. Link to that video is down below in the video description. Alright, so in this video our approach is to deal with the set out of vertical curves. And there may be different methods for setting out like card gradient method and tangent correction method. Where we will be just learning about the second one that's tangent correction method which is mostly used in a correct method. So let's talk about this guy. Let's suppose we got point A is in apex point of the curve which must has a change in elevation and suppose point O and point B are the start and end of the curve. Also remember length OA which is a tangent is always taken as the half curve length so that we can easily determine the change of point O and point B like that. You can say the change of point O must be the change of point A minus half length of the curve. Also change of point B must be the change of point O plus 2 times half curve. Or you can say the change of point B must be the change of point O plus full curve length. So once we have the change of point O and point B, then of course we can determine the elevations of tangent points O and B. For this we have a nice plug and check in formula. Like you can say the elevation of point O must be the elevation of point A plus minus LG1 divided by 100. And then elevation of point B must be the elevation of point A plus minus LG2 divided by 100 or 100 where G1 and G2 are just the gradients and the plus sign must be put in case of convex curve also for a concave curve minus sign must be used in these formulas. Now if you join point B and point O we get point E which elevation can be found within average formula. Like you can say elevation of point E must be the elevation of point O plus the elevation of point B divided by 2. Similarly, the elevation of curve center can be determined with the elevation of point E plus elevation of point A divided by 2. And then distance AF must be the elevation of point A minus elevation of F. So these are just plug and check in formulas and also explain from this sample diagram. Okay, If you look to the diagram, there is nothing complicated over here. These are just elevations and uh, changes of course in the vertical curves. Okay going further ahead okay so now after this we can divide the uh, tangent line you can say line OA into intervals and from each interval point an offset is taken toward curve line the value of each offset must be taken with the help of a formula like you can say uh, the value of each offset must be CG divided by 100 where C is the peg interval and G is again gradient also, we can notice one another thing here, which is the value of upset must be positive in the convex and negative in the concave type curve. So all values found with the help of this formula can be added with or subtracted from the elevations of tangent points in order to determine the elevations of peg interval on the tangent line. And then finally, the tangent correction is calculated and added or subtracted from the intervals elevation and then shifted into the curves. The formula for tangent correction is y equals x divided by L whole square times AF, where x is the horizontal distance from the tangent point or you can say an interval distance and AF is the distance between apex point and vertex. And that's it. Also, if you see, it's hard to work with calculation like this. So, to make it easy, we put all these videos in a table, which may look like this one. Okay, in the first column, uh, we do or we put uh, the stations, then the changes, then the tangent or grade elevations, you can say, then the tangent corrections and elevations of curve points. Okay, those are just the points uh, shifted from the tangent uh, intervals. And then uh, if needed, remarks can be um, added in this table. So this is just a simple way to set out a vertical curve. Okay, This is the tangent correction method because we do tangent correction over here. So that's it for today. 
In the next video, I'll try to solve a practical type example on the vertical curve, okay? And we'll use all these formulas explained in the today's video. So that's it. Hey, if you like these types video, please hit that subscribe button, press the bell icon and never miss another update from an engineer boy. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time.